Hi, I'm Dave Sidden, Executive Director here at Wildlife Images. And right now I'm in our baby bird room, which is probably the busiest room at Wildlife Images during certain months of the year, especially during the springtime. We uh, get lots of baby birds brought into us. Uh, most of them are brought in because people are trimming brush and didn't, weren't aware that there was a nest in the brush. So they'll pick up the nest of baby birds, bring to us. There are days during the spring here where we'll get 40 animals or 40 baby birds in a day. So it's a lot of work. So we're renovating this room. We found a new system to make it more efficient to work with the baby birds. Our uh, folks in the clinic attend the National Wildlife Rehabilitation uh, conferences and talked about they talked about some new methods for raising baby birds so we're going to be going to this new method so we're renovating this entire room getting it ready for spring because it's just around the corner and we're going to have lots and lots of critters like Jack our little stellar Jay here and uh, this room is busy because baby birds have to be fed <laughs> on the average of just uh, every hour or so you're in here putting mealworms or some sort of food in these little guys to keep them going and get them back out in their wild. So Jack's a permanent resident because he's uh, missing an eye, can't go out in the wild, can't see predators coming, so he wouldn't last very long out in the wild. So during the springtime, one of the things we can all do to help our birds is to keep your cats indoor because cats are the number one predator to small birds and probably the vast majority other than downed nests come into us because of being cat caught. And cats have so much bacteria in their mouth that they puncture the skin of the bird, it's almost like venom. So we have to spend weeks with antibiotics getting the birds back on their own so they can recover and go back out into the wild. So if you'd like more information about becoming a volunteer, a donor, maybe a member of Wildlife Images, all these things help little birds like Jack get back out in the wild where we can all enjoy them. Just go to the Wildlife Images website at wildlifeimages.org. You can log on and get all the information you need right there. So we'll look forward to seeing you again next time on another episode of Walk in the Wild Side. Right, Jack? Well, you're busy. <laughs>